Welcome to the Three Bridges Tour. Colin is my name. I'm your guide for the next 40 minutes until we get to South Queens Ferry. The driver of the day is Stevie. You're in very safe hands with Stevie as your driver because Stevie is the best driver in the fleet. Or so he tells me. A special welcome to the Durham ladies downstairs. They've had back of the table. That's a head office of RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland. My my employers for 43 years. Or I guess I can do something more useful and enjoyable. I've been doing this for 14 years. I see we've been doing nothing else but working. Get of striking beauty <laughs> and intelligence. Regrettably, that is not a description that applies to your tour guide today. As you are about to find out, I am an aging tour guide. A bit forgetful where the castle is and the new town where we are now. In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing here where the whole new town is. This was all grassland or moorland. Because Edinburgh was until the late 1700s, it's now known as the old town. Now that was Edinburgh, where the castle is. However, by the late 1700s, the old town became very crowded, overcrowded, cramped, claustrophobic, and became a slum. In fact, Edinburgh was the worst, one of the worst slums in Europe in the late 1700s. Something had to be done, so the new town was built. The old town, where we're not going on this tour, will be driving through the new town. The old town where the castle is dates back forever, back to the 8th or 9th centuries, whereas the new town here developed only from 1750 onwards. The old town is called the medieval old town for obvious reasons, whereas the new town here is called the Georgian new town for not so obvious reasons. The new town here is called the Georgian new town because it was built by and large during the reign George the Third, who reigned from 1760 to 1820. By the way, I hope you're remembering all this stuff for the question and answer session. Quite a lot to remember. Some people suggest I make off as I go along. Not the case. There is the old town where we're not going. We're turning right at the Prince of Street. That is the old town behind, in front of the bus. And you can see past the wall, as well as being the main street, you're on it now. As well as being the main street, for all intents and purposes, Prince Street separates old town on your left, new town on your right. So no matter where you are near me, you can relate where you are to Prince Street. South of Prince Street, on your left, by large, the old town. North of Prince Street, on your right, definitely the Georgian new town. Edinburgh Castle coming into view on your left hand side very soon. And Prince Street Gardens down there on your left hand side. One mile of gardens, 35 acres of gardens down there. No other capital city in Europe can boast of the grand line of the main street. And they're up to the top of the free of charge. I was going to talk about the old town, I'll talk very quickly about what you see up there on your left. What do you see? You see a castle? That is a castle. Unlike some lesser attempts at sea level, there's been a place of refuge up there for 3,000 years, as far back as the Bronze Age, 850 BC, and it's been fortified as a castle since 1180. And these rocks which the castle has built, believe me, these rocks were an active volcano 340 million years ago. An elderly gentleman, one of my two, was yesterday who said, Yes, I remember it. Yeah. I don't believe it. Even older than me was. Right, that's me finished with the old town. You're heading for South Queen's Ferry. To get there, we're we'll going through the new town. George and New Town. You're going to see some beautiful architecture along here, even more beautiful than you're seeing at the moment. 
There's a lot of Georgian architecture here because uh, say the new the central part of the new, as I said, was built early 1800s during the reign of George III. If you look at the next street on your left, you'll see some of the most beautiful intact Georgian architecture. Go that one. The next street to the left now, Alpha Street. Intact Georgian architecture, as it was 200 years ago. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that's same in the next street. Once the lights change, look at your left, you'll see Melville Street. Beautiful, 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 intact Georgian architecture. Early 1800s, 200 years ago. By the way, forget what you're seeing on the ground floor here. It's all modern, commercial and retail. But you'll still see quite a lot of the Georgian architecture on the ground floor. In particular, at your left. With the cathedral at the end, St. Mary's. Use a walk from Tom Street. Beautiful, intact Georgian architecture. You still see quite a lot of the Georgian architecture here above the ground floors. So, by the way, I come from the depths of Aberdeenshire. I'm going to Tariff Academy. Nobody heard of Nobody will heard of Tariff Academy, I'm sure. State school in Aberdeenshire. Everyone, everyone hearing me, Durham, Durham girls, everyone hearing me downstairs, yes. The, the first suburb we could been to is Black Hall, or Bungalow Man. I was reading somewhere, if you owned a bungalow in Black Hall in Edinburgh in the late, is it, sorry, in the 1930s, you'd made it, big time. I don't know if you'd pay for one of these bungalows. Queen 
Ferry or go west, you would come to Glasgow in Scotland. If you turn east or to the right from South Queen's Bay, you would travel 600 miles before you get to Denmark. Bridges. Number one is the iconic Fourth Rail Bridge. Built in 1890. Completed in 1890 and still carrying 200 trains every day. There since 1890. It was the world's first major steel structure. It was the longest cantilever bridge in the world when it was built. Still, we're coming to South Queen's Ferry, still called Queen's Ferry, but there's no ferries in Queen's Ferry now. Because in 1964, the first road bridge was built. It's did away with ferries. The first road bridge was built in 1964. One and a half miles long, the same as the rail bridge. When it was built, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world, outside America. It's very similar to the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. However, about 50 years later, the early 2000s, the experts came to the conclusion that the road bridge was carrying vehicles far in excess of its design capacity. So, rather than try and strengthen it, they built a second, they built a second road bridge, the Queen's Ferry Crossing, which was opened in 2017 by our First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. Sturgeon. And the Queen's Ferry Crossing is the, longest, is the longest three tower cable state bridge in the world. So you've got three bridges here, the, the iconic rail bridge, the, the fourth road bridge, the first road bridge, and then the second road bridge, the Queen's Ferry Crossing. The road bridge is a cantilever bridge, the road bridge is a suspension bridge, and the third bridge is a cable state bridge. Please, please do not ask me to differentiate between them. <laughs> Any engineers might have an idea, I'm certainly not in that category. But they're all very spectacular. But number one is undoubtedly the rail bridge which you're going to see first, the rust colored one. I told the Edinburgh World Heritage Site stays in 1995, a very prestigious accreditation. 20 years later, 2015, the rail bridge in its own right got a UNESCO World Heritage Site status. A very prestigious accreditation, as I said earlier. It puts the fourth rail bridge in a par with places like the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids of Egypt. They all enjoy the same historical accreditation as the fourth rail bridge, which we're coming to. As I say, you're five minutes away, your boat leaves at 11 o'clock. Absolutely brilliant photo opportunities once we're down in the boat. There's the, there's the rail bridge appearing. Got another piece of useless information. There are no fewer than 6.5 million rivets in that bridge.